Where is this place? Where am I? Hey everyone. So I was riding my bike around this area and suddenly my bike just stopped working and uh, I've been stuck. Uh, but in the meantime, while I'm waiting for a car to come or someone to come or anyone to come, I figured I can do our, our regular lesson for today. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to be learning how to say is to a person. Ege means to and the way you use it is you simply take a person. So we'll just put Charsu here. Person Ege. And we have to a person. So let's do our first example. 저는 철수 에게 I 철수 to or I to 철수 철수 에게 말 했어요. 저는 철수 에게 말 했어요. I said it or I said something to 철수. Also notice the order that we have this in. It's not 저는 말 했어요 철수 에게 but it's I to 철수 said it. Anytime you have any sort of communication word, like 말하다 to say, 전화하다 to call, 물어보다 to ask, 알리다 to inform, 전하다 to convey, you have to mark the person you're doing that to with to, never with the object marker. In Korean you would say, I told to him. I called to 철수. 철수에게 전화했어요. In Korean you have to say, I asked to the teacher. You have to use ege for the person who you're communicating to. So let's give another example. 친구에게 선물을 주고 싶어요. So I want to give a present to a friend. You could also say 선물을 친구에게 주고 싶어요. It would be like saying I want to give a present to a friend. It's not going to be natural. So always use the object that you're doing directly before that verb. Okay, let's do another example. 철수가 나에게 거짓말 했어. 철수 to me lied. 철수 lied to me. 철수가 나에게 거짓말 했어. And let's move on to our next form. The next one we're going to learn how to say is from. And that is 에게 서. This 서 is completely optional. It's the exact same meaning. That means that 에게 could mean to or 에게 could mean from. Then how do you know if it means to and how do you know if it means from? You will always know if ege means to or from by the context of the sentence. So let's look at an example. 저는 I 철수 에게서 from 철수 I heard. 저는 철수 에게서 들었어요. I heard it from 철수. 서 is completely optional. So now we can just do ege and that's perfectly fine. Could this possibly mean I heard it to Charsu, it has to mean from. You'll always know whether it means to or from because of the verb that will come after it. Let's do our next example. 친구에게서 받았어요. I received it or I got it from a friend. We could also just say 친구에게 받았어요. I got it from a friend. 친구에게 받았어요. 저는 빌리 씨에게서 from Billy 한국어를 배웠어요. I learned Korean from Billy. 저는 빌리 씨에게서 한국어를 배웠어요. Or 저는 빌리 씨에게 한국어를 배웠어요. I learned Korean from Billy. Instead of to learn, what if we were to change it to 가르치다, to teach? So now we have 한국어를 가르쳤어요. I taught Korean to Billy. 저는 빌리 씨에게 한국어를 가르쳤어요. You can just do 에게 for both to and from. 누구에게서 초대를 받았어요? From who? Or 누구에게? So from who did you receive an invitation? Who did you receive an invitation from? 누구에게 초대를 받았어요? We're going to go on to our next concept. 한테 means to, 한테서 means from, but 한테 can also mean both to and from, just like 에게서. Now, there are some slight differences though. Ege and Egeso are a bit formal sounding. If you're just wondering, which one should I use when I'm speaking Korean? Use ante, just ante. Even when you're saying from, most of the time people just use ante. Let's do an example. Pili si ante from Pili, 선물을 받았어요. I received a present from Billy. Or you could say, Pili si ante so. 그거, that thing, 누구한테, from who? 들었어? Who did you hear that from? 그거 누구한테 들었어? 저한테는. Notice that it's not quite 저한테, 저한테는. It's 
저한테 저한 저한. There's a little bit of that the hiat sound in here when you say it. It's not 저한테, but it's not 저한테. So it's really soft. It's there, but it's not strong. 저한테 then so to me this is one way that you can start to talk about your opinion 저한테 는 to me in my opinion 미국 사람들한테는 to americans 한국어가 korean language is 어려워요 difficult 미국 사람들한테 는 to americans 한국어가 어려워요 korean is difficult to americans 누구한테 전해 줄까요 so who should i tell that to 누구한테 전해줄까? So who should I tell that to? 어떤. If it's in a question, it means what kind of. If it's not in a question, it just means some. So here we have 어떤 사람한테 냄새가 나다 means literally a smell comes out. Literally, so someone smells. 어떤 사람한테 from some person a smell comes out. Someone here smells. 어떤 사람한테 냄새가 나요. Now let's go on. Hopefully now you've seen how ege can mean both to and from, and you've seen how ante can also mean to and from. So if I tell you that this word means both to and from, it shouldn't be confusing. Ge means to and it means from. And this is whenever you're speaking humbly about yourself towards someone else, or whenever you're speaking in honorific, when you're talking about someone else and you want to be extra polite, use ge. So this would only be someone else that you want to show extra respect toward, never yourself. So you can be talking with your best friend using casual speech and slang, but when you are talking about someone who you want to show extra respect to, you will still use this ge to show extra respect to that person. Let's do an example. 선생님께 선물을 드렸어요. When you are speaking humbly about some, like towards someone or honorifically about someone, you must use ge if you're saying to and from. If you don't, the sentence will sound awkward. Now, if you didn't say 드렸어요, but if you just said 선물을 줬어, 줬어요, like I just gave him, then you would not want to use ge because then now you're not really speaking honorifically or humbly about the teacher. You're just saying 줬어요, I just gave a present. 선생님께 선물을 받았어요. Before it was 선물을 드리다, to give a present. Now it's to receive, so that means ge means from. As long as you know the context of the sentence, you can know easily if this means to or from. 저는 아이 할아버지께 to my grandfather or from my grandfather 들었어요. Heard. I heard it 할아버지께 from my grandfather. 저는 할아버지께 들었어요. I heard it from my grandfather. 저는 할아버지께 말했어요. I said it to my grandfather. The end. What is that? Is that a car? Is someone coming? Hey! Well, I was going that way, but yeah, yeah, we can go back that way. I'll, I'll, I'll get on this side.